Hi, very good evening. Uh, I am with a uh, famous celebrity in the stand-up comedian uh, category. We have uh, Sai Kiran with us. And hi, Sai Kiran, yes. and welcome to the show. And uh, I have a few questions to ask you because uh, the the entire crowd is actually waiting for to get the answers from you. And can you just brief about uh, your uh, who you are and your basics, where you are based on? Uh, can you just uh, kind of, uh, sure? No, I'm I'm Sai Kiran. From Hyderabad, I only lived my all my life there. I'm from South India, so I've been doing stand-up comedy for almost six years now. And the video industry is about in the early in the early part of this year. But before that, I've been doing comedy for a long time in Hyderabad. Hyderabad is a very vibrant stand-up comedy scene. So I've been touring earlier only to the main cities of India, performing in Bombay, Bangalore, and Chennai, particularly. But now after the video, I've been traveling all over the country. And Coming now to Toronto. So before that, as a regular Hyderabad kid, that's it. Growing up in my city, my home, that's mm -hmm. I've never been outside much. And the comedy brought me into these other places. That's okay. it. Yeah. So, what is your basic profession? What is your basic uh, branch that you have uh, studied? No, I'm a full time study a stand up comedian now. Okay. I've, been, I've been full time for long, the last few years now. Okay. So before that, I was a regular student, regular college goer and school goer. That's it. And I was a you know, consultant for a while. And then I just thought I won't have a change. I thought I would do something different. And I started doing stand up comedy. Okay. And it felt good, and so I just continued with it. And it's yeah, I didn't really it. And it's it can feel that you are really enjoying it. Good. And uh, we have a uh, bit more things to know from you. That is, uh, th th there should be definitely a difference between uh, uh, the acceptance from the crowd part in North Indian side and also in the South Indian side. So, can you just uh, explain a bit on that? Yeah, earlier I used to only perform primarily in South India because I didn't know how much of my style. Uh, language will go in the north of India but after the video I've been traveling, I've run shows in uh, Delhi, I've run shows in Indore and all so and the response has been quite good by right? and because except the language uh, which there is mostly Hindi but otherwise I think most of the experiences and the shared experiences across the country is pretty much the same so even how our lives are and all like beyond the language everything is very similar and I think that is what is connecting even with the video that's what is connected to everything Okay, and uh, the percentage of the crowd, uh, whether it is an IT, ITNs are more into uh, the more into hearing side of the comedy part. Uh, what is actually uh, how you uh, analyze? Uh, no, I think the, uh, I, crowd? So my primarily I'm performing in Hyderabad. Mm -hmm. There is a predominantly IT crowd, right? okay. that's the, uh, and they are the most uh, ex exposed crowd. Like they see lot of stand-up comedy, and they are used to watching it. So they but, take it as a stress buster. Yeah, they come as stress busters, and they it's, so in most of these. Cities that's how it is. Mm -hmm. But as you go to our smaller cities and all, like I was performing in Kotayam just a couple of days back, it's, and there's not a single IT person for sure there. It's all business people, or professionals, and all. So and I've got an every kind of audience. It's mostly currently for my shows, it's mostly families you're performing. Okay. People like multi generational, like grandkids, parents, and their ch children. Mm -hmm. So that has been interesting, and it's always interesting to see everybody laugh together in the same group. So. And the one more thing is more fancy in your uh, uh, jokes name that is it is in quotes that it is a wedge uh, jokes and is there any uh, story behind it uh, giving a title as a wedge jokes? Uh, exactly, yes. like earlier initially when we were starting off in Hyderabad uh, we found it a little difficult to attract a lot of audiences and I didn't even have a video also and, so, and a lot of people were always apprehensive to come to a standard comedy show wondering is this something I'll enjoy? And also, they did not want to come with certain like, should I, this is something I can take my parents with or something like that. And some venues were a little apprehensive. No, we don't want to support standard comedy because we don't. Which is okay, like, it's not like I'm only doing pure wage or I don't like something else. But I thought, okay, this is what you want and this is what will bring in audiences. Let me try this. I saw my sh this show when I was writing, it's completely clean comedy. So I'd rather tell this right with the title, this is pure wage, just come down, be comfortable. Okay. You don't have anything to worry about here, you can bring your friends and family. And that's why, why that, the title is there to attract newer audiences to comedy. That's the only thing. Uh, is there any model or is there any example that you want to follow in the comedian part? Hmm. There are a lot of comedians like the India, by comedy scene has been very vibrant. So, a lot of comedians to follow and uh, you know, learn from. One of the best was definitely Praveen Kumar, okay. who is now probably the biggest superstar of Tamil stand of comedy right now. Mm -hmm. So, but when he started, for when I was starting, Praveen was the big thing. Mm -hmm. 
because he was one of those few South Indian stand up comedians who was speaking English in a very normal way like we all mostly do. And still do very well. So when like I saw him live in 2013 in Hyderabad, before I started stand up comedy, it was inspiration. Oh, this is something we can even try and do. And he was being a huge inspiration. And now he's a big star of Tamil stand up comedy. So when again inspired by him, I'm also started doing Telugu stand up comedy. Yes. Uh, to do our own language. So, so how, what is the support from your family side? Um, well, they, are, they, are, they are cool with it. They don't understand what is really happening, why this guy is always uh, suddenly going out at night. Kind of thing. <laughs> and uh, But they are, they really don't come to watch my shows much, but they did see the video and like they just hear about it and all. So they are quite supportive. That's the main uh, issue. Uh, so, uh, so, I have one more question from my side. Uh, what is your vision behind uh, this? Uh, Stand up comedian concept? No, I think when we started off, there's no vision at all. It's just to get on stage and not get, be scared and just somehow get a coherent line out of our my mouth. But slowly as we keep doing it, I want to just see people laugh as a fun thing. And I don't want to think too much about it. It's not, it's not a huge purpose. I'm just going and telling jokes. You like it, laugh. You don't like it, also forget it. It's no big deal. But I just have a good laugh, that's all. There's no grand vision, I'm not trying to conquer the world and uh, just you know, implement my ideas to the world. Just come, have a good laugh. It's not an easy life, just relax. So, so you're planning to take it ahead on the near future also? Hopefully, yes. yes. As long as the response is good and people are coming to watch, definitely I'd like to take it places and hopefully it will work. Okay, so uh, thank you so much, uh, Sai uh, uh, We have a very nice time with the world in videos. Thank, thank you so, so much. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell notification.